Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a card from the Commander 2013 decks. And this one is an interesting one because it has reached $25 for being a pre-con deck. So there's no variance, there's no, oh am I going to get this card? For speculation purposes, what's also unique is a lot of stores will crack 100, 150 boxes. So you can pick up a copy of this card. And when you do, you can have the option of picking up 150 from the same vendor, which is very traditionally not unique uh, when you look at cards to speculate on. So those are all very big bonuses if you did buying at this card or if you have this card. And it's also stuff to look at for the new commander sets is it's easy to buy and speculate a commander card just because of the vendors opening so much of it, uh, so much of the product and having so many copies in stock. So you don't have to ship from multiple places. So this card is $25, that is crazy. What the card does is it's a weaker version of doubling season, it will double your creature tokens. So if you have a card that puts one elephant, now you get two elephants. If you have a card that puts two elephants, you get four, etc. It also doubles your plus one, plus one tokens, which actually is probably more of note than the creature doubling for a particular EDH deck. So at the end of the day, it is a very good card, but would you ever expect a pre-con card, a card that comes in every, and this pre-con deck in 2013 was not highly, it was not the pre-con deck to get. Actually, it was either four or five ranked in terms of value when it came out. But now there's a $25 card in that deck, in that pre-con EDH commander product and that's crazy it is crazy to me how uh, sometimes unique products which are available in in 2013 after four years later let's say three years later, let's say four years later the product is harder to get and then suddenly that unique card goes up in price generally speaking the unique card it will be obvious it will be something that looks very powerful and that is powerful in the edh but probably not playable in any other formats. Again, the key, the key here is how vendors are opening. So a vendor will have 100 boxes and they'll open 100 copies. So they'll have 100 copies of Primal Vigor for $4. If you wanted to spend $400 on it and get 100 copies, you would get them from the same vendor. And that's what's unique about uh, commander products that it's easy to get a hold of and it's easy to get hold of in large quantities which makes it different from if you wanted to buy Sahili raw well i mean what's the Sahili raw case like two a case or something uh, you're not going to have a vendor with a hundred copies of Sahili raw it's just not going to happen so as a speculation it takes a lot lot longer to accumulate cards a lot of you want to know the logistics about speculating on individual cards. I can tell you it's not what you think it is. For you to accumulate 100 moats, that's insane. That's going to take a lot of time. And the moats will probably have tracking because they're more expensive cards. But if you wanted to accumulate 100 Sahilis, you're probably looking at anywhere between, if you're lucky, 15 vendors to 25 vendors at playset apiece. At the lower end, there will be some people selling a lot of them, but for like a price they know that no one's going to buy in case it does spike and then they can sell rid of their inventory. So Commander 2013, if this card goes up, a lot of you ask, okay, cool, this card went up. What does this mean? You know, what should I do? If I don't have the card. I would look at other Commander 2013 cards because it has, it's like a wine. It has aged now. So when... Lily went up and Snap went up and industry cards went up. You knew it had aged beyond what the current player base had. So a current player base is like, oh, cool, I love that card. Oh, it's in that set. Okay, I'll buy it from my EDH deck. But since it was a lot longer ago, it's harder to get a hold of. And then, therefore, there's the potential to for the card to go up in price. So 2013, Commander 2013, leave me a comment below of what cards you guys would look at. What other cards, so obviously not this card, this card's already gone up, but what other cards you want, to, you would speculate on if you had $100, if you had $10, does it really matter? And why would you speculate on that card? Because 2013 Commander, if there is another card like this, they could be, there could not be, it's ready to spike soon. Anyway, leave me a comment below.
Bye, guys.